Hey, what's up guys? So, got the 88 T-top here. Uh, currently going to be putting the K Designs receipt delete in this. Excuse this mess. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've installed normal receipt deletes before, but I have never ever installed this one. I just thought it was pretty cool, so I purchased it. That part's trying for that. Um, yeah, I guess I'll take you guys along the ride and let you know how it goes. Okay, so that's the trunk piece over there. This is a hatchback car. Uh, for some reason, remove screw. There's a screw right there. You can still see the screw down here. And it looks like I got driver side bracket right there. Rear and some hardware right there. And that's the piece that goes on the front of this behind the seats. So I will try to figure out how this all goes on and I'll keep you guys updated. So I just wanted to give a shout out to K Designs. They actually sent me a mask. Um, that's actually pretty sweet. And uh, considering the pandemic and everything that's going on, is their uh, business card right here. Got the sheet rock screws. You guys can see that through the thing. But uh, dude, this place is awesome. This kit is absolutely super nice. I think we paid like 400 bucks for it. Um, oh, cool. I don't have to do the guessing game because it came with an instruction manual. So yeah, I'll put you guys back on the time lapse and uh, show you how this thing goes together. All right, so things are about to start getting really complicated on this, I feel. Um, so basically, this piece is extremely easy to put in. Um, I have paint on my fingers. Uh, those two brackets right there, you gotta screw them in. It comes with screws. Yes, that's a little crooked. Uh, whatever, it'll be fine. Um, the next piece that goes in is that flat piece. We're not touching that yet. And there's a bunch of bracketry that I have laying over there on that, on that chair. Uh, so, I will read these instructions and try to figure it out and I'll keep you guys updated uh, along the way. Okay, so this is definitely such an awesome piece. So, um, excuse Finnegan's garage in the background. Um, it completely levels out the whole back end of the car. Um, I'm hoping when I put the bracketry on, I can fix this little gap right here. Kind of closes itself up, but I have the quarter panels kind of sitting in there right now. But yeah, dude, this this whole swap is actually really really cool. So, um, let's see. I just left the seat belts in there in case we ever go back to like a red setup. I doubt we ever will. So, um, I know that some of the bracketry that I have sitting over there bolts are right there. I know there's a piece of wood down there on the other side, and. Um, yeah, dude, this swap is so cool. I'll keep you guys updated so far. I know I keep saying that, but ah, it's so sweet. I got the piece in. You see, it's like a flush mount rear seat delete. So, all right, so you got step number five here. Uh, place panel B into the vehicle. That right there is panel B. You see it slides right underneath this trunk piece. Okay, so then you go to pleat number six, place support brackets D, E, and F in place under the front of panel B. When it's on brackets, they should line up with mounting tabs already present on their side of panel B. Okay, whatever. So, these are extremely self-explanatory. You can see exactly what they are. It tells you to a T what you need to use, which are these black sheetrock screws. These screws right here, the self-tappers, um, are, I haven't fully done this yet, but you use some on, use four, so two right here on that side and two here on this side for the trunk piece and then the rest I believe are for the front. So the black screws are for these mounting tabs. So there's where part F goes. You can see that there is a piece right there that you can screw into. It's very, very self-explanatory. You got there and there. And then over here, you got, that's D, top, and then there's passenger E. Use the one inch sheet rock screws. That 
that's all she wrote. Oh. That's the whole thing right there. So. All you do is just grab the front piece. So I skipped ahead and didn't film. Screw it in. Screw it in. And same thing down there. And uh, you'll be good to go. I think there's one little bracket I gotta I got put in with these last two self tappers. And that'll be the whole kit. So I finished the K Designs uh, rear seat delete. Dude, it looks absolutely awesome. Look at that. It's got that storage compartment there. Storage back there for the tire. Looks great. Super simple. Uh, I think it was like four or 500 bucks for the whole thing. Really not that bad considering this car didn't have any seats, carpet in the back or anything. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated on this 88 T-top car I got going on here. And uh, hopefully I'll have the seats and everything for it by the end of the week. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later.